Hello and welcome to the video. I finally done it guys. I finally, finally jumped into the deep end and finally picked myself up a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. <sighs> I've been playing Nintendo Switch for around about six and a half years now. Why have I not got a Pro Controller yet? This is literally the reason why I've picked it up now because I don't know why I've been gaming this whole time without one. I often play on TV mode, so I should be playing with the best controller, I guess. This is the official Nintendo Switch controller. It's the official Nintendo Switch Pro controller. So what I'm gonna do on this video is I'm going to do an unboxing, yes, an unboxing video of this controller in 2024. Yes, I know that sounds weird because we are at the end of the Nintendo Switch life cycle. So <laughs> is there any point? I don't know. So this is a Nintendo Switch Pro controller as it is. So this is how it comes. This is the box that was delivered today. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna just show you the box. Very sleek white design. Obviously the controller on the front looks nice. So you know exactly what you're getting with this controller. It's literally just the pro controller. So yeah, obviously it's got that iconic Nintendo Switch red on it as well, which we all like to see because it is the Nintendo Switch colors. It's the colors that Nintendo are branding themselves with at the moment, red. And then all the details on the back right here. So wireless controller for Nintendo Switch console designed to be held comfortably for longer periods and perfect for games that use the console's TV mode or tabletop mode. So that's literally what it says at the top right there. So yeah, it's nice. So it's exactly what it's for. It says it on the tin. Uh, it's basically a controller that's much bulkier, a lot easier to hold than the Joy-Cons. So what you'd normally hold with the Nintendo Switch is these Joy-Cons like this. So if you're playing on the TV, this is how you would hold your Joy-Cons. So you've got the adapter that you can slot your Joy-Cons into. Um, obviously, that's the easiest way and how most people will play their Nintendo Switch games if they are docked. So this is what this is for, the adapter which you put your Joy-Cons in. Um, it's nice, it works, like it feels nice. Like I actually have always played this way and I think it's always worked, uh, personally. Um, it's nice, like the controllers are clicky, obviously. Um, and yeah, but it just doesn't have that kind of like Xbox controller feel that everyone loves. You know, the Xbox controller is like one of the best controllers on the market right now. And I think Nintendo kind of wanted to bring that over with their Pro controller. So it comes with a controller, obviously, and the USB cord to charge the controller. So that's always there. You can put the USB cord into the dock on your Nintendo Switch. So you can always charge the controller through the dock, I suppose. That's one way of doing it. Or you could do it from the mains. It's up to you. It's USB. I'm guessing it's USB-C. I hope it's USB-C because uh, USB-C is the way forward with anything like this. So yeah, so let's get to it. I guess uh, that's the rest of the design there. You can see the side. Um, this is the UK version of the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, so I don't know if it's any different anywhere else, but yes, this is the UK version. Uh, you can see the box and how it's designed on the side. Obviously, you've got a nice graphic here of the actual controller itself zoomed in. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. So here we go. Let's, let's show it off. Let's open it up and see what it's like inside. So let's move you out of the way. Don't need you right now, don't need that Joy-Con. So here we go, first time opening this up. Let's do it. Oh, there we go. All right, and you see it's all packaged in very nicely. Uh, no problems here. You can tell this has never been opened before. All right, let's do it. So it's nicely packaged. Well, it's quite a lot of content. An unboxing. Oh, it feels very weighty. Oh, I can feel the weight already. Wow, okay. Uh, so what else is inside here? So that's the USB cord that comes in the box. Very simple uh, USB cord. Uh, is it USB-C? I'm hoping it is. Yes, it is. Indeed it is. A USB-C cord there, which is perfect for anywhere charging. So you can plug it into the mains, which is great. Um, and also obviously straight into a Nintendo Switch if you want to use the USB slots there on your Nintendo Switch dock. So yeah, so the USB cord, I don't really know if I need to open this personally because everyone knows what a USB-C cord looks like. But here's the actual main, main event contents right now. So let's open it up. Whoa, and there we go. Very nice, look at that. Oof. Oh yes, that feels great. So this is the X. I nearly said Xbox controller because that's exactly what this is really. It's a Nintendo Switch version of the Xbox controller, I guess. It's just pretty much exactly how it feels. Uh, it's nice. It's very, very nice. Very comfortable. Wow, this is going to be great. It feels very bulky uh, from first impression. It's definitely not got that clicky feel that the Joy-Cons have, which is interesting. So 
So yeah, it's very nice shine as well on the camera. Like it looks very shiny. It has that like design where the top of it is the kind of see-through material that you can see like the plastic. So you can see the internals of the Nintendo Switch Pro controller, which is really nice. And obviously the handles itself, they've got like a, oh, I don't really know what you call this kind of material. I suppose it's a very unique material. Is it like a rubber? I think it's like a rubber. So it's very grippy. Very, quite weighty, quite, quite nice. It's not the heaviest controller I've ever held. It's probably the weight of like a GameCube controller, which is nice because you don't want the controller to be too heavy. Uh, probably the weight of like a PS3 controller. But yeah, so it comes with X, Y, B and A, which you expect on a Nintendo Switch controller. Very much the same as the Joy-Con. That's the size difference. So a little bit of a difference there. Perhaps the Pro Controller is slightly bigger, I guess. Yeah, probably wider, definitely wider. Um, but the Joy-Con, like actual, the analog sticks feel way nicer. But that's what you'd expect from this. This is known as the Pro Controller. So you can just see in the light there, you can see the logo, the Nintendo Switch icon. So you can tell this is official. It's an official Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Um, I haven't turned this on yet. I've literally just opened it. So I don't know how it's gonna feel actually playing it. Okay, yeah, it's got a plastic seal here. Let's take that off. Ooh, I can no longer say this is brand new. It's not mint condition anymore. All right, okay, there we go. That's why it was on there, because it's very shiny on top. Very shiny, as you can see. Um, let's just move you out of the way. You can get this in other designs as well. There's there's other designs of this controller. For example, there's a um, Splatoon version of this. There's versions of this controller with the coloured handlebars. So there are different versions of this. I'm a bit of a sucker for plain, <laughs> as weird as that sounds. I really like um, basic styles. Like for example, my Nintendo Switch OLED is the white one, which is a very basic, very vanilla looking console. But I really like that. Um, and I like that about this controller as well. I like the kind of vanilla-ness of this, the plainness, the, the all black feel to it, which looks really nice in my opinion. I think this is the best version of the controller, but that's just my personal taste. I like to go basic and almost minute, I guess, with how much detail I like on something. So yeah, this is the original version of the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. So you have got the buttons on the back as well, which are very nice. They feel a lot nicer than these ones do because these are very clicky. Uh, you can probably hear that on the actual, yeah, you can probably hear how clicky that is. I mean, I get, I've get, i got used to these, I guess, um, playing the Nintendo Switch itself. I've got used to the feel of the bumper buttons, the back L and R, but um, I feel like these are gonna be much nicer. They're much, much squishier, much more grippy. You feel the movement as well. Like you can feel that kind of, yeah, you can see how it like, bends down that's got that kind of like roundedness to it and also you can get your finger in there as well like it's not it, it really really pushes down which i really like that feeling um the analog sticks feel much bigger the d-pad itself is there as well it's not a it's not four little buttons anymore it's a proper d-pad it comes with the capture button here as well so you have still got the capture button which is awesome uh you might not be able to see that uh, can you see that yeah so you can see the capture button just there and then the home button as well. So you have still got access to those features on this controller. Now these, these here will tell you which play you want. So it'll be one, two, three, or four. So these are the lights here that light up to indicate which player you are. If you're player one, obviously the first light's gonna show up, player two, second, three, so on. You can charge it from the back, which is an amazing thing because charging on a controller should always be at the back. Um, in my opinion, I feel like that's the best place to have a charger cable access area i guess the usb cable access should always be at the back especially if you're playing with the cable attached because you want to be holding it like that you don't want it here like for some reason the dreamcast controller i remember the dreamcast controller had a cable at the bottom here and it was just really awkward because you had to hold it like that and you could feel it underneath and it just didn't feel nice um so yeah i guess this version should always have the usb c at the top so you can get better holding of the controller when it's attached to a cable. The idea is that I'm gonna basically test out this. So this is my first opportunity really to play with the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. So I'm gonna test it out on a couple of games. I'm gonna play Splatoon 3 and let's see. So I am using the Pro Controller. So yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, it feels nice. I feel like I'm playing on an Xbox now. 
Uh, on the Huawei arcade stick, the stick part of the arcade stick uh, replaces the hair boot stick with a Swanza stick. Let's try it. Oh, okay. So you can change the joysticks. That's cool. Um, you can't on this controller. <laughs> you have to. You can only use what's on the controller, which is kind of weird. Really ah. I mean, I I think the joy the joysticks themselves are nice. What I like about this controller is I don't feel like my hands are cramping. That's often something I found with the um, Joy Cons is that when playing this, you feel like your hands cramp after a while. You've only really used the Joy Cons in portable mode. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do from now on. Is I think uh, from now on I will only be using the Joy Cons when I play um, handheld, which is kind of the whole point, I suppose, of the Joy Cons. Wow, we got absolutely rinsed there. Just proving that I'm terrible at Splatoon. <laughs> but yeah, I'm liking this. I'm thinking the controller is very nice. Uh, I'll probably give it one last final review before I leave as well. Alright. Who should I play as this time? Let's play as Joker. Poor best three. Well, Alright, bring it. Come on. Bring it. Bayonetta is... Oh, hate Bayonetta. Hey, look at that. That's, that's just ridiculous. How the hell do you dodge that? I, I have no words. Like, how, how do you even dodge that? is overpowered. Practice, that's how you play. <laughs> well, thank you, Starlight. Let's at least get one kill on her. Come on. Wow. What? Wow. Hey, yeah, there we go. Yeah. There. Yeah, that's how I feel. Now you know what it's like. Oh my god. <laughs> go away. No, no. <laughs> She's not as bad as she was on the 3DS all week. No, no. They actually did nerf her. But it's just still pretty tough. She's definitely a lot harder than... Lucario was. And yet, Lucario is still beat me, so... No, there we go. There we go. I think she's still winning, isn't she? Yeah, there we go. Alright, okay. Nice. Come on, let's get the... Come on. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, I would have won as well! Yeah! I'm giving it up to the pro controller. <laughs> and there we go. Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, is it still worth it in 2024, even though we are at the end of the Nintendo Switch lifecycle? 
yeah, I think so. I think it's still worth it. Overall, I think it's a great controller. I think it's a very, very nice, well-made controller. It feels very nice. It's got a nice weight to it. The buttons themselves feel very good. The Joy-Cons are a lot fiddlier than this controller, I feel. The analog sticks here are much bigger. So um, with the Joy-Cons themselves, like, I don't know, it, it just feels like they're a lot smaller and it feels like the hands, when you play them for a long time, like your hands will crump up. Whereas I feel like if you're to play with this, if you're playing on like a screen or if you're on like any kind of monitor, TV, whatever, this is the way forward, definitely. For the price of £50, I, I think it's justified. Um, maybe a bit too expensive, maybe, but that's just my opinion. Like I would say probably more like £35 is probably like where I would expect this controller to be. Nintendo can price whatever they want and they will do. There's so many games on Nintendo Switch you can play with this. For example, like I say, Splatoon 3, which I played earlier. Smash Brothers, and I've just had a way better experience playing Smash Brothers with this game. Other games I can maybe think of are the Legend of Zelda games. For example, Tears of the Kingdom would be great with this controller. Mario Kart would be great. Bayonetta, Astral Chain, as Starlux says, they'd be great for this controller. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of the button smashing games where you know you're going all crazy with um in fights and stuff like that you know anything like that i think this controller would be completely worth it for is it still worth it yes i think so thumbs up for that so that was the nintendo switch pro controller i hope you enjoyed watching me open it up on camera and it was a live reaction so i'd never opened it up as you can tell when i'd shown you at the start of the video the box hadn't even been opened yet so I'm looking forward to showing you this video once it's been released and so you can see my live reaction of the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. I cannot wait to show you guys so thank you for watching. If you've liked this video please check out this video right here where I show off the Nintendo Switch QRD Stellar T5 controller which I was gifted by the amazing people at QRD Games to review so please check out that video right here it's there for you and I shall see you next time. Please like, comment, subscribe if you've liked this video and I shall see you soon. Bye!